Alito Ankana, Sahuchifoya Brian Oster, Alepat High Country News. The last uranium mill in America is in White Mesa, Utah. It brings in tens of thousands of tons of radioactive waste to extract tiny amounts of uranium from it. Then it dumps all the waste from that waste into big ponds called tailing cells. These tailing cells now hold about 290 acres worth of poisonous radioactive slurry. Some of these cells were built to last for 15, maybe 20 years, but they're more than 40 years old now, and only a single layer of plastic separates the toxic slurry from the ground below. Might they leak, you ask? Won't this have an adverse effect on the people living around White Mesa? Is this contaminating the groundwater? Is it turning the deer into green-colored meat? The mill's marketing executives say no, no. But White Mesa residents, who, surprise, happen to be indigenous, say, oh yes. Now the company who owns the mill wants to import 615 metric tons of new radioactive waste all the way from Estonia. What could possibly go wrong? Jessica Douglas reports. And speaking of groundwater, researchers in the southwest have mapped out where aquifers lie hidden beneath the U.S.-Mexico border. There are no binational agreements about who has the rights to this water, but scientists say relying on surface water from the Rio Grande and the Colorado River is not an option for the future. So there needs to be a model for groundwater use and collaboration between the U.S. and Mexico to prevent future conflict over these transboundary aquifers. Jessica Coots fills us in with the details. On the heels of a record-breaking fire season, wildfire scientists are feeling... hopeful? HCN's Kylie Moore spoke with the scientists behind a trio of unique papers meant to give us a roadmap toward fire-adapted forests. They say it's going to take thinning, removing flammable bushes, and ramping up indigenous prescribed burns across the West. It's a big task, over a lot of land, so it's going to take a team effort, landowners. Another way to reduce wildfire fuels is by using goats. Yes, goats! But, oh look, we're out of time. You'll have to read Wufei's goat story over at hcn.org. I'm Brian Oster, and now you know the West. Chibi's la chiki.